are live. Is anyone here? Who knows? The goal this evening is to finish The Hobbit for Game Boy Advance. The Battle of Five Armies is beginning. Four armies? I want nothing to do with this war. Okay, once, once again, um, like Rank and Bass, they don't seem to be counting the wargs as armies here. You are not safe here, Bilbo. Go down by the shores of the river. The dwarves there will protect you. Aranis, Bilbo has been single-handedly killing basically every enemy he's encountered. Uh, and the dwarves have done jack shit, so, uh, I'm not sure if it'll be the dwarves that protect me. Synchronized archery from the elves. Actually, it doesn't even look like they're shooting arrows. <laughs> it, lo it looks like they're just, like, doing stretches. And one, and one, and one, and one. I really expected the battle to be more, uh, like, close combat, I guess. Oh, hey. <laughs> Attack, attack, kill it. Oh no, it's an ambush. Time for me to basically use everything I've been collecting. Careful, halfling. I don't think anyone uses the word halfling in The Hobbit, but, uh, you know, I'm not gonna, uh, judge the use. Nobody uses the word Oliphants either, and my favorite adaptation, uh, does, so. <laughs> Careful, Halfling. These goblin shields are impenetrable. Perhaps we can drive them back. <laughs> or maybe not. I like how Gandalf said, uh, this battle is no place for you, and all the dwarves are like, help me out in battle, will ya? It's just button mashing at this point. <laughs> Kevin Costner is Gandalf. Hurry, little one, I will hold this one back. Help, little one. <laughs> Getting real mixed messages from the dwarves here. Let's push our way through. Also, these are clearly different dwarves in each scene for the sprite on screen, but um I'm it's just the same dwarf for the uh for the dialogue box each time. I'll I'll just say I'm feeling less bad about not remembering which dwarf is which in the dialogue boxes because apparently the game doesn't either. The Battle of Five Armies might actually have me go through my entire health supply. Ha ha, we broke through their defenses. Run, Hobbit. We can handle these ourselves. Again, the mixtiest of messages. This is just going to repeat for a while, isn't it? I'm just going to go one screen where there's like a bunch of shield orcs and then one screen where there's like a cutscene. A little animation to the side. There are too many. <laughs> there are actually three, and I am eliminating them. Okay, so I was wrong. This is actually one where I had to fight them. It just looked like the scenes where a battle's happening to the side that I just witnessed. Ah, wolves. Oh, I just... Oh, hey, Ward Rider. Okay, well, I'm out of the way, but I'm also not doing it any damage. Oh, there's a little bit of damage. Good point! Sting is not glowing in this game. That seems like a... would have been uh, annoying to program, but... Here, if I just run away... Nope, I clearly have to actually... Nope, that's my last Elven spring water. Oh, there we go. There's something. Oh, but I'm dead. Okay, hopefully for the last time. I'm just gonna look at the walkthrough and see if there's, like, a trick for this guy. This last boss is a tough one. He runs back and forth, throwing an array of swords. If you walk in front of him, he will turn and charge downward. By standing in front of the bushes by the entrance, you are safe from the spears. As he comes toward you, run out, avoiding the spears, so that you end up standing in front of him. Immediately turn around and run right a bit. He will charge downward. On the way back up, hit him and run to the safety of the bushes. The bladed stick will do more damage than Sting. Soon he will begin to stop on the left or right side. He throws three sets of spears, then pauses. During the pause, attack. Eventually he will start chasing you, stopping, swinging a sword, and pausing. Once again, attack during the pause. Goblins and wolves will attack after a while, whip out Sting and take them down. During this time, the boss will be still. Take the chance to deal a lot of damage to him. When the boss dies, rocks will fall and build. <laughs> okay, this seems like the last thing I have to do in this game. This is just tedious. The tricks the walkthrough gave me either aren't working or I misunderstood them. How is he throwing those spears in that direction? Like, in, in all those directions at once. 
What is this goblin's power? Oh, great. I'm all the way back here. Perfect. Harry Bilbo, follow us. Do da, do da. Why aren't elves helping us? Also, where are all the men of Lake Town? Where's Bard and his crew? It's just dwarves and elves fighting. Dead already. Yeah, the strength of Hobbit isn't holding up great either. At least I can attack these guys from up here, where I seem to be mostly safe. Where are you going, dwarf? Just wandering around aimlessly? Yeah, yeah. Run to the south. I've heard that before. I've heard your promises of safety. <laughs> now go and rest our hobbits. That's a good question, but um, I'm going to guess not very. Right, the wargs chase me here, and now the final boss battle. <laughs> now we already killed the great goblin, so I guess this is just the pretty okay goblin. And I am dead again. Dead, dead, dead again. Walk through said the stick works better than sting, but I'm going to put that to the test. They're comparable. Or even just Willem Dafoe to Franco. <laughs> Mid Goblin sounds like a someone trying to remember the show Bridgerton. Wait for him to do his three here, then quickly run out and hit him. Seven. Seven hit points for the Dwarf Lords in their Halls of Stone. Hell yeah. Okay, yeah. Stick was seven, sword is six. I don't get it, but I accept it. Oh, something happened, and I just got hit. <laughs> Now I don't know what he's doing. Nope. I hit him directly and I'm still the one who gets hurt. This seems to be like his berserker mode. And I guess I just waited out. Also, he did not touch me, but I still got a lot of damage. Oh yeah, let me um see if the thunder claps. Okay, a little bit of damage. But only when he's not actively moving, I guess. Or only when I hit him directly from behind? So confusing. Oh, now we got these guys. Hold your horses, hold your horses. Hold your wargs. I can't even see if I'm facing the right way to be killing these guys. Did I get him? Is he, did he explode? Is he dead? I think he exploded and then Bilbo got hit in the head with a rock. As Bilbo drifted into darkness, he heard, The eagles are coming! As the Battle of Five Armies began, again, counting the eagles as one of the armies, even though in the text, the warg was the other army. I get it. It makes more sense to have the eagles as a uh, separate army. Yes, exactly. Yeah, they're uh, they're making Bilbo do all the fighting, but they're taking his dialogue away from him. As the Battle of Five, five Armies began, all went black. Dragons, I am delighted. I was beginning to think that your luck had finally run out. I'm still smirking, smirking Gandalf. We can talk of this later. You have been sent for. <laughs> well, we get the Thorin's deathbed cutscene. The Hitchhiker's Guide to Middle-Earth. <laughs> Hail, Thorin, I have brought him. Farewell, good thief. I now go to the Halls of Waiting until the world is renewed. I wish to part from you in friendship. I would take back my words at the gate. Farewell, King Under the Mountain. Sharing your peril has been a greater privilege than I deserve. Not so, friend. There is more in you than you know. Courage, strength, and wisdom. If more of us valued food and cheer and song above hoarded gold, it would be a merrier world. Sad or merry, I must leave it. Farewell. I um I don't know how I feel about the um <laughs> the head wound dialogue uh art for Thorin. Gandalf still smirking even after that emotional death deathbed reconciliation. As the old songs say, gold flows. Down. Gold flows down for the mountain. Bard wishes to reward you most of all. I only want two small chests of gold and silver. Gold flows from the mountain, so the prophecies came true. After a fashion, 
You're supposed to have this dialogue uh, a while later, comfortably home in Bag End. Why shouldn't the prophecies prove true? Just because you had a hand in bringing them about? Do you think this was all mere luck for your sole benefit? You are only a little fellow in a wide world. Thank goodness. Again, the... the, the sure. Goodbye, Balin, and goodbye, Dwalin. Farewell, Ori, Nori, Dori, Oin, Gloin, Bifa, Bofa, and Bomba. May your beards never grow thin. And to you, Feely and Keely and Thor and Oakenshield. Feely and Keely were uh, killed off screen, and uh, it apparently is only coming up now. <laughs> may your memory never fade. Farewell, noble burglar. Good luck wherever your road may lead you. And if you are ever passing my way, don't hesitate to knock. Tea is at four, but all of you are welcome any time. I'll write this in my journal. Same game? <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. We already got the final dialogue from the book. What is there left to do? <laughs> do I need to compose the road that goes ever on and on? Yes. Yes, you do, darling. Is that is that part of the gameplay? Now it is time to rest. <laughs> nope, I just saved the game at the end. Okay, well, that is um, that is The Hobbit for Game Boy Advance. We finished it. We did it, you guys. We completed a... Beat your <laughs> we completed a Tolkien adaptation video game here on stream. I'm proud of us. This game started stronger than it ended. <laughs> um, yes, a, a very, a very mixed bag. This game started, like, not good, but, like, acceptable. And then it just got more and more tedious and annoying as it went on. And the ending was both relentless and anticlimactic at the same time like like the the orcs were brutal but it was also like oh that that's how the hobbit ends so yeah we'll dip into some other games uh over the course of the month but uh on monday's stream we're going to be doing something different we're not going to be uh, playing a game monday's stream is going to be a little shorter because uh there is a certain person in the room with me right now who uh is married to me and it is our wedding anniversary on monday hi stream <laughs> um so we're going to be doing a short stream on monday and instead of playing a game we're going to be looking at just some uh some of my tolkien uh ephemera one might say collectibles one might say crap <laughs> some of the stuff i still have that i mostly uh dug out of my parents garage recently uh we're going to be taking a look at uh some of my collection one piece of which predates the Jackson films. The other elements are all like from when Fellowship was coming out. So uh, got some movie merch and some just, uh, uh, you know, stuff. I'll see you in the chat for the video premiere on Sunday. And then I'll see you uh, for the stream on Monday. Until then, this is Dave signing off. Yes, Tolkien Chashkis. <laughs> exactly. <laughs>